What's going on, you guys? So I'm a little late to the party here. Uh, so a new DLC has been announced for Hard to Iron 4 called By Blood Alone. Very nice title. I like it. Uh, let's take a look at it because I pretty much have no idea. I think it has something to do with Ethiopia. but Build a new empire, resist foreign aggression, or explore the limits of neutrality in Hard to Iron 4 By Blood Alone. This new expansion for Paradox Interactive's World War II Grand Strategy game adds new alternate history options and gameplay variety for three nations, as well as other significant changes. So, you have a new Italian focus tree. Okay. Follow the historical path of Mussolini Italy or rewrite history by restoring power to the monarchy. Lead a commun uh, leading a communist revolution or replacing Mussolini with one of the variety of new contenders. You have a new Ethiopian focus tree. Defy the odds to defeat the Italian invader or resist the conqueror from abroad using unique government and exile abilities. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, I remember playing a game of Hearts of Iron where I think I was Poland and I lost and I was a government in exile and I really couldn't do anything. <laughs> it was just sitting there. I had no money. It was just like, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's good that you, there's going to be more abilities <laughs> just in case you lose. A uh, new Swiss focus tree surrounded by France, Germany, and Italy. The mountain nation of Switzerland finds strength in its neutrality, balancing competing factors and overtures from the three powers. Ooh, you have new Peace conference options, demilitarized zones of the map or entire nations bid on the capital ships of defeated powers. Oh, that is that is sick right there. Or claim control of enemy resources or factories as reparations. Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty huge. I gotta admit, that is pretty huge. Wow, okay, interesting. Wow, that takes the whole... Thing to a whole nother level aircraft designer I had a feeling this was coming uh, because you know you had the tank you had the ship designer and what comes after a ship aircraft so there's uh, no tank was the last one I'm sorry design and build your own planes from nimble interceptors that prioritize speed to durable bombers crafted to unload tons of destruction from high above ooh, ooh I like this so I'm getting from this right is that I can build basically design and build my own aircraft but I could probably add maybe more um, I don't know maybe strip some things out of a b-17 add more I guess area for bombs I'm thinking you know or um, reduce something from the p-51 Mustang to uh, up its speed you know kind of things like that so it's very interesting that's very very Interesting. All right, unit medals, a long list, uh, a log of each division's accomplishments lets you track their performance, even allows you to award unique medals to division commanders for their actions in the field. Whoa, that is amazing. That's 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 really cool. I like this. That's a lot of uh, data right here. Lets you track their performance. So I'm assuming each battle and such. Wow, okay. Embargo interaction. Embargo your enemies with a new diplomatic interaction, preventing them from trading with you if they have generated enough world tension. That's cool. New unit models. Over 20 new unit models for Italy, Ethiopia, and Switzerland. 67 new plane models and 12 new musical tracks. Okay, wow. All right. Wow. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> this looks really good. I really, really am liking this. All right, so let me see. Very cool. Soviet Union's turn to make demands, change government, contested bid. These are new unit models. Okay. All right, let's watch the video.
Okay. All right. So that's uh, interesting. I always like uh, their little, I mean, it doesn't show any in-game content. I wish it did though. I wish they, these trailers that they had for uh, DLCs or just Hearts of Iron in general did have, uh, you know, some uh, in-game footage. Uh, oh, I forgot about the expansion subscription. Uh, so I believe it's probably going to be 20 bucks uh, because No Step Back is 20 bucks. Uh, so I'm, I'm assuming that uh, that's what I'm going based on. But this is really exciting. Uh, definitely worth the 20 bucks. Uh, I would say just for the plain designer alone. Uh, but those other features. Uh, and the one thing I love that Paradox does, uh, one big thing that I really love that Paradox does is this is available on Mac and Linux as well as Windows if you prefer that kind of thing. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's going to be awesome being able to play this on my Linux box, um, Fedora. So, um, yeah, so I think the biggest things for me is this, right? New piece options, obviously the aircraft designer is a huge thing. Uh, so I would say just those three things, um, are the big things for me. The focus trees, I was never really crazy about focus trees. Uh, they're cool, I mean, like to be part of the game and stuff, but like the things that really make my mouth water are like these features right here. So, um, unit medals, aircraft designers, new piece conference options. This is gonna be really cool, I really like that. Uh, and then of course you get these other juicy things like 67 plane models and focus trees and stuff like that. So, really cool, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll catch you in the next one, see you then.